In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up in-app products in your Google Developer account so that you can link them to the in-app purchases you create in your BuddyBoss app settings. This means when a member purchases an in-app product inside the Android version of your app, it will register as a purchase of the in-app purchase it is linked to in your BuddyBoss app settings. From your app settings, you can control which content is unlocked when an in-app purchase is made, as well as information to explain and promote the purchase, such as a description and a list of benefits. In separate tutorials, we will also show you how to create in-app purchases in your Apple developer account, how to activate the in-app purchases component in your app, configure the settings of your in-app purchases and products, and how to connect your in-app purchases to membership plugins and LearnDash courses. Before you complete the steps in this tutorial, we recommend you watch all of our other in-app purchase tutorials so you have a full understanding of the process before completing each step. It is best to create your in-app purchases in your Apple and Google developer accounts first so that they are ready to be linked to the in-app purchases you'll be creating in your BuddyBoss app settings. Before you begin, you will need to have completed the steps covered in our Connect Your Google Developer Account video and our Configure Your Android App tutorials, which you can find by clicking on these View Tutorial buttons. All right, so now let's get started with creating your Android in-app purchases. Here I am inside my Google Developer Account, which is accessible at play.google.com slash console slash developers. Let's go to the Payment Settings page, which is under Settings, Developer Accounts, and then we'll click on Payment Settings. First, you'll need to create a payments profile for your Google developer account. You can use a payments profile you set up previously to use with other Google products, or you can create a new one. Let's create a new payments profile. I'll click this and I'll select create payments profile. Select the location your business operates from. I'll leave it as United States and select your account type. Select individual if you operate your business as yourself or select business if you operate your business through a separate entity. I'll select business. You will not be able to change your business location or type for this payments profile after creating it. Next, we'll enter the address for the business. And once that's done, we'll move to primary contact and you'll add the primary contact information for your business if it hasn't been pre-filled already. Next, complete the information that will display publicly about your business. I'll leave this checked to use the legal business information I entered above. We can optionally enter a website and then we need to select the category of what you sell. I'll say electronic goods, but you can pick whatever works for your business. And now enter an email that customers can email you for support. And finally, enter the name for transactions from your Android in-app products that should appear on your customer's bank statements. If I click this, it shows us this text will be appended to Google and appear in your buyer's credit card statements. And then click Submit to save your payment settings. Now let's go set up in-app products for your app. Click on All Apps. In the list of apps, click on the app you set up for your BuddyBoss app. There are two types of products you can create. In-app products are for products that require a one-time purchase. Subscriptions are for products that require a recurring purchase. Let's set up an in-app product first. In the sidebar here, scroll down to the monetize section and click on products, in-app products, and click the create product button. We'll start by giving a product ID. It's a good practice to use your application ID as the base for your product ID. For example, if this was my application ID, com.buddyboss.appproduction, and if my product was called All Access, then the product would be com.buddyboss.appproduction.allaccess. And then give the product a name. So I'm gonna call this All Access. This will display to your members when they are purchasing this in-app product, as well as on any receipts in their Google Play Store. Now enter a product description. This will display under your product's name. Next, we'll go to the price and click on set price. 
Enter the default price for your product. The default currency is set from the country selected when creating your app. Next, click on Apply Prices. Prices in other currencies will be automatically generated. And now click on Save. And I'll click on Activate. Next, let's set up a subscription product. In the sidebar, we'll come back to our Monetize section and click on Products, Subscriptions. And then click on Create Subscription. First, we'll enter the product ID following the same suggestions as previously. So I'm calling this product membership and then give the subscription a name and now a description. On subscriptions, you can also enter benefits. We recommend you enter the same benefits here that you will enter in the BuddyBoss app settings. If I come back here. When creating the product here, which I'll show more in a different video, you would just add the same benefits into here. Now select the billing period for your subscription. This is how often your subscription will renew. I'll say yearly for this one, and then give your subscription a price. And click apply prices. Now you can configure your subscription options. You can enable a free trial to let your members try your subscription before they pay. You can set an introductory price meaning members will receive a discounted price for a specific duration. You can specify a grace period, which is the time your members have to resolve payment issues before their subscription is canceled. And you can enable the ability for members to resubscribe directly in their Google Play Store after their subscription has been canceled. When you have configured all of your options, click on Save. And then I can click on Activate. And there we go. That's how to set up in-app purchases in your Google Developer account. Complete this for each in-app product or subscription you'll be selling in your app. Once you've set up your in-app purchases in both your Apple and Google Developer accounts, you can proceed to the steps in our setting up in-app purchases tutorial. Your in-app products will not be available for purchase until you have submitted a release with at least one in-app purchase added in your Google Developer account. Once you have your first in-app purchase published, you can create more without requiring a new release.